Today I'm going to be going over how to make a fish out of paper mache. The fish is actually an example of an Aloxicon animal that we're learning about in class that we watched the video for. So lots of decorations, lots of design work, lots of dots, lots of color, lots of line. And that is our main focus, is to add some beautiful design to represent the culture. First, before we can even get to the design, we have to create the fish structure. As you can see, it's 3D, so it's on both sides. And we are making our structure out of newspaper. So, every table will have newspaper and a roll of tape. The first step that you will do is rip your newspaper into smaller sizes and then take them in your hands and create a ball. So the ball is going to be the fish's body. Once I've created a ball, don't mind the paint on my arm, it's from printmaking. Once I've created a ball, I can tape the ball so that it stays its form. You don't need a lot of tape. You actually need very minimal tape to keep it together because this form is going to be covered in a different material. So just small amounts of tape to keep it in place. If you want to make a bigger ball, so this one's much smaller, you can make it cover this ball again. So, I'm going to take a piece of paper and cover to make it a little bit bigger. So now I have a bigger size. It's easier if you rip a bunch of pieces of tape and put them on the side for yourself so that way you can share the tape a little bit better, number one. Number two, once you're ready to go ahead and put a piece of tape on the form, all you have to do is reach to the side and grab it. You won't have to rip it while you're creating your piece. So I would say take the tape, break it into about 10 pieces, and then use that as you go. So, I'm going to tape the bottom of where I just wrapped, just like a present, if you've taped a present before. And don't worry about making a perfect shape, it's not going to be perfect, but you are going to cover it so it's going to look better after. So I've got my ball, now I'm going to add my face and my fins. And my tail. So, the face is actually going to be a much smaller piece of newspaper. I'm going to go ahead and form it and then tape it on like that. And it's the same for the turtle. As you can see, the turtle and the fish have very similar features. In case you want to see the turtle, how it's similar, here's our turtle and the, the start of the project is actually pretty close. So, going back to the fish so I don't confuse anyone. The difference between the turtle and the fish is the tail. The tail on the fish is much larger. So, I'm gonna take my clay, my, not clay, my newspaper, and I'm gonna make a shape of a fishtail. So a fishtail kind of looks like, um, how can I explain it? A heart almost. So it's got two bumps and it connects to the body. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my piece to my body. It's going to be a little easier because I've got my tape over to the side so I won't have to rip the tape. Turn it around, tape the back.
and it's starting to come together. So now the fins are going to go on the side. So left and right side. They are much smaller, so I only need a very small amount. I'm going to go ahead and ball it up. And just make like small triangles and I could bend it so that it looks like it's swimming. And then I'm going to go ahead, hold it and then attach. When I'm attaching, I'm going to make sure I put it on the side the way that I want it to look. So don't forget which way is up and down. So this is my fish up and down. So I don't want to accidentally put it on the bottom of the fish. It needs to go on the side. And this is my last fin. I'm going to try to match that shape. Again, we're going to go over these shapes with um, the material that you put on top for the, this is just the foundation. So if it doesn't look perfectly the way you want it, I wouldn't worry because we are going to add shape to it. This is just like you saw in the video, the bowl, how the bowl was the base. This is our base for the project, and we will be adding more as we go. So, as soon as I'm done, I'll show both my turtle and my fish, so you guys can see the difference. I just need one more piece of tape to make sure my fish doesn't fall apart. All right, so here is my fish on the side and around, and my turtle, thank you, here is my turtle that I made earlier, so it's a little bit bigger than my fish, and then it's flat on the bottom and more round on the top for the shell. This was all made out of newspaper and tape, just like my fish. And I put my name on it so that when we leave class, I know it's mine and I know what I need to work on next week. I hope this helps. Um, good luck with your animals and actually reptiles. And I will see you guys later. Thank you. Bye. Bye.